During an explosion or an impact of some sort, you might want to add a little bit of uh, vibration or uh, shaking to the camera to give an added effect of like a shock wave. For instance, uh, if this camera were uh, rotating around these objects and an explosion were to take place, well, you might want to shake the camera uh, as if the shock wave from the explosion was affecting the camera and uh, you know, and you get a little bit of a shake there. Now you could hand animate that or you could use a motion modifier and uh, that might just be the, the faster route. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a light and I'm going to call this boom. It's going to be our little explosion. And I'm going to come over to, let's just say uh, around frame 10 to 15 there's going to be an explosion. So I'm going to take this light P for properties. Um, let's do. Let's make it a lens flare. I'm going to go to lens flare options, and I'm just going to turn that central ring off. I'm not a big fan of that. And let's set the flare intensity. Let's set an animation for that. So I'm going to click E for envelope, and let's say that at frame 10, from 0 to 10, let's make that 0 intensity, and we'll set them to linear. And then we'll set up a keyframe, say, um, let's not do it at 15, let's do it at 13, and we'll make it 100%, uh, the intensity 100%, and then we'll come back down and do 0 at 16, or let's just do it at 15. Okay. So our animation looks something like this. Boom. We just get a little flash of light. Okay? But it doesn't look like to me there's any kind of impact going on because it's just this flash of light and nothing really happens. But if we select the camera, okay, let's go into perspective so we can see the camera. Okay? So if we select the camera, we can see we've got this nice smooth motion. But I want the impact to happen and uh, send a shockwave. So the explosion happened and, and send a shockwave. So let's go back to the camera view and we can see that we've got an explosion around 12, 13, 14, but we want to have the explosion and give it a little bit of time to get to the camera. So let's say around frame 15 we're actually going to have the, the camera affected. Okay, so I'm going to hit M for motion options and under add modifier with the camera selected I'm going to choose jolt and I'm going to double click. Now Jolt is great for, it's not just limited to the camera, you can use it on objects in the scene, uh, but I like to use it for um, for the camera. You can have it where you can just set keys, so I'm going to move this slider over to frame 15. I'm going to create a keyframe, and I want the uh, the impact to be medium. I want the, the camera to shake or jolt around uh, with medium setting. You have heavy, light, medium, you can also key in your own values and then set up um, a default for these if you'd like. Uh, you can use an intensity ramp on an object. How close is it getting? Like the event, how close is it getting? So you could have it where a jet flies by the camera or flies by an object and when it gets to a certain um, uh, distance you can you can set that up as well. But for this let's go ahead and just use um, setting uh, just setting the keyframe at frame 50 the duration is going to be to frame 30 okay so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use that hit continue and let's go ahead and close this window down and so we get our explosion and then as you can see we get some camera shake in there okay so we have the explosion and then just after that we have the vibrations. We have the shock wave that, that sends the camera going. We'll look in the perspective view just so we can see what the camera is doing. Now we'll notice that I've only got three keyframes. So I can have that nice clean smooth motion and it's easy to manage just a few keyframes uh, and I don't have to have lots. Look so you can see the whole motion path is, is shaking but it's just over those frames. Okay. So it's much easier to manage than if you hand key it because if you decide to change it or move where it takes place, you just need to go into the to the jolt uh, panel and go and adjust those values versus changing lots of keyframes either in the uh, dope track or dope sheet 
or, or scene editor. So this is a really quick way to add a little bit of shake. Now, again, I use it for the camera, but there's nothing that stops you from uh, selecting the objects and doing the same thing. But I'd rather either use dynamics or um, hand key objects. But for the camera, uh, I think this is a, an easy setup for getting some nice camera shakes, trying to add a little more realism to the camera work. And uh, it's as simple as having the camera selected, M for motion options, add modifier jolt, come in here, set up your settings, and you're good to go.